Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now if you follow me on here then you'll know that I love to go skiing and I also like to film it. A few of my friends have asked what gear I use so in this video I'm going to show you what I use to film my ski trips including why I think a sling bag is the most practical bag to use and what upgrades I'll be making for my next ski holiday to Borovets in Bulgaria and a microphone protector that I believe I'm the first to invent that I've sent to Small Rig hopefully they will start to make. Uh, let's get into it. Now firstly Lee was using a GoPro Hero 8 so I also had Lee's footage. I was using a GoPro Hero 9 with a mini tripod. I really like the Rocksteady stabilisation in this. It's like the camera's on a gimbal. I have taken my ZV-10 with a gimbal before but it just takes up too much room in my bag. And that was what I used pretty much for the actual skiing part. I took my camera which was an A7C. Uh, the only lens I brought with me was the Sigma 24mm f1.4 with a variable ND filter. I only went up to ND32 so it wasn't dark enough and I also had to crank up the shutter speed and on the bottom of this I also had a mini tripod. The microphone I was using with this was the Sony ECM G1. I really like it because it's small, the volume is self-adjusting, it's powered by the camera so you don't have to worry about batteries or charging. The next item is a drone. Uh, I was using the DJI Mini 1 so to speak. Um, you've got to have a drone. Do your drone theory test so you know the flying rules and stick your operator ID on your drone. I was also using an old iPhone with my controller so I wouldn't get interrupted by a phone call during my flights. The next item you need is a laptop for backing up uh, all of your footage from the day. Uh, a hard drive for said footage, spare SD cards, spare batteries, chargers for all of your equipment. I took a light with me, I was using the Aperture MC. I also took a set of radio mic, uh, I was using the Hollyland Larks, a set of headphones. I did take drone ND filters but I did forget to use them on my last trip. My phone which is the Xperia 1 Mark II from Sony, uh, all of my photos were taken on this, it was just easier to just get your phone out and take your photos. My sling bag, it's big enough to fit everything in and the reason I think it's so good for skiing is the fact that you can just spin it around when you want to get on the chairlifts. So the upgrades I'll be making that will hopefully bring a little production value to my videos and make filming a little easier and faster to get the shots. The first is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It will let me fly further, faster, and it can follow me with active track. And it can also record in 4K 10 bit. I also have the RC controller, so it connects really quickly. And this time, because we're traveling by plane and not going in the car, I'm substituting the laptop for my Chromebook as it's smaller, lighter, and the battery life is a lot better. I've made this bracket to cover my microphone so that I can put my camera straight in the bag without fear of breaking the mic off and damaging the hot shoe. This magnetic mount, so we will see if that gives me extra ways to mount the GoPro to get any interesting shots. An extra ND filter. This will screw onto my variable ND, so hopefully that will bring it down enough that I can get that nice uh, motion blur with my videos. So that's about it. Please watch this space to see how I get on. If you found this video useful, please give me a like, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.